Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Shivana Spotlight Night. So we did our random number generator yesterday to determine which champion we were going to spotlight today and that determined to be Shivana. So we got four different Shivana decks all with a different region combination with Demacia where we try to put together some very competitive Shivana decks. Now Shivana of course is a champion that is a good part of the metagame already. Um, you do see a decent amount of Shivana already, um, but that's but still we're gonna try out some different combinations that you may not normally see, like Shivana with Sharima. This first deck we're gonna have Shivana with Ionia, the next deck, and so on. All right, so uh, for next week for Champion Spotlight Night, what we uh, we talked about this yesterday and kind of decided what to do instead of just waiting. So like it's Wednesday night now, instead of waiting until Tuesday and then um, using our random number generator and determine which champion for the next, uh, for, for the next day to spotlight, uh, we determine maybe that it's better to do it a week in advance. And so for, for our first episode here, we're going to go ahead and, and choose who's going to be next week's um, champion that we'll spotlight. So then maybe, so then I'll have like a little bit more time to put together um, some, some good quality decks and hopefully have some good rank up decks especially for the champions that uh, don't see as much play maybe they need a little bit more time than one day to put the decks together and so y'all can get excited for our next champion so let's do that real quick so we're going to go ahead and um uh use our random number generator see who's going to be our champion next week next wednesday um, for this so we have one to 61 click here it's going to be champion number 27 which I think that is Shivana actually. So, you know, as, as we count one, two, three, four, and then all the way down. So eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27. No, it is not Shivana. Okay, never mind. I just thought that was like the same number. Okay, Shivana was 31. It was one down. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was the same one that we had last time. So, uh, no, it looks like that's going to be Maokai. All right, so next week. We're going to be building four Maokai decks. And so that, that's probably pretty good. Give me a, a little bit more time to put together some competitive uh, Maokai decks with different regions and everything. So there we go. That's that's awesome. That's a champion that we don't really play very much. So Maokai will be the champion for next week. All right, but back to our deck. We're going to be, we're going to be playing a Demacia Shurima mid-range deck that at the top end is going to have Siphoning Strike and Boomerang Blade for some removal both of those with some Spell Shield with Sivir and Ruin Runner. So those are going to be some more ways for us to deal damage. We also are going to have, you know, like Single Combat, which is a very good fight spell. We'll have a few ways to give our champions barrier to allow them to attack even easier with like Bright Steel Protector and Prismatic Barrier. And I'm just going Prismatic Barrier over Repost because I think that both Shivana and Sivir have already have like a decent amount of power. I don't feel like they need the plus three plus zero very much but i feel like um so i think that that one less cost in mana could be very helpful plus having like these barrier cards um with sivir is pretty awesome if you have a leveled up sivir right so if we can get the leveled up sivir um give sivir a barrier and then attack then you know have all of our other units also get that barrier that could be pretty cool um, for as far as uh, some card advantage, we got Preservarium, we got Egghead Researcher making some expensive dragons for us as well, and then uh, I'm going Vanguard Sergeant as my other three drop, uh, to, to, uh, trying to decide between this card and Vanguard, um, the other three mana Redeemer, you know that can draw a unit, or we just make the um, the four Demacia. Um, also, Xenotype Researchers could fit kind of well here, and then, of course, Laurent Protégé. And so trying to decide between which one of those four decided to go with Vanguard Sergeant. I think the Fort Amasia is really, really underrated. So maybe if we're able to have a board and have three, four units in play, give them all plus three, plus three for a round before attacking could be pretty sweet. So that's what we're going to try. Let's try some Sivir, uh, Sivir Shivana. I almost said Sejuani. <laughs> Sivir Shivana today. Okay, so we got Thresh Nasus to start with. Mulligan. I mean, I like Preservarium, but we probably need to affect the board right away. But I'll keep the, the Sergeant Sivir. 
Okay, so we got a Bright Seal Protector for round two. It's not the best two drop to play on round two, of course, because you don't really get any good use out of that. But maybe we draw Fleet Feather Tracker. Um, that could be a really good card to draw right here. All right, pass turn. You could also see just simply holding spell mana for Sharp Sight. And then that would allow us to save Bright Seal Protector for later. <laughs> Tracker, you're a little late. Oh, good draw. Don't think this started very well for us. So I should have played Bright Steel Protector. I guess I should have realized that with three mana, they were going to play ten power worth of units this round. Should have realized that. Soraka Maokai with the champion spell, healing your units. That is... Pretty interesting, I'd have to say. That does sound pretty interesting. Keep a vile feast from doing anything. So I kind of want to trade. I kind of want to trade stuff because, like, yeah, yeah, I guess we do. Like, if they play Thresh, we want things to be dead. Yeah, they don't. Then they don't want things to be dead. We know that they have a champion after doing that draw champion card. So Thresh is the most likely. Yeah, Rune Runner can't even like block anything though. Uh. I guess I'm just gonna go another Bright Seal Protector. I mean, I could play this for Demacia. Like, I can play Ruin Runner and then single combat and kill the Thresh. I guess that's my best plan. But then. What you want without mercy. I'm prob. The Ruin Runner probably dies from blocking a 4 3. Okay, yeah, this will work. So I don't know how I answer Nasus. I'll have a good plan there. But... The other reason to attack last round also is to help Sivir level up. So we're at 31 out of 35. Doing pretty good there. Heroes go hungry. Just gotta hope they don't have Nasus. They just play other stuff. The desert by my side. I guess that qualifies as other stuff. I suppose. You're covered. There's nowhere to hide. Danger, Peg. Yeah, I guess I should have just attacked with the 3-2 also on the other side, because it would have had that quick attack. I didn't I didn't think about that, like I was going to have the quick attack. But I did make that attack, so the Sivir is now a 6-4. That's pretty good. Trading Fleet Feather Tracker for 4 1? I guess so. Hey, Violet. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. 
Well, I was going to play Fort Demacia, but I think it's better to play this Ruin Runner. So as long as there's no Nasus, like we said before, as long as no Nasus, feel pretty good about this. So I saved the sharp side to be able to help Sivir survive these things. I still haven't played Nasus yet. So that's good. There we go, Fort Demacia finishes it out. Fort Demacia! The real treasure is friendship. Nice. Look at that, good win. Ooh, Aurelia Azir. Can we stabilize? That may be tough. Probably just keep cheap units, even though we're not really protecting anything right now. There we go. Never mind. We figured out something to protect. Something to protect. Yeah, just, sometimes you just gotta dodge. Just gotta dodge Nasus. Gotta believe you can dodge. So Sivir only needs 33 more to level up. That's not very many. Or basically there. Yeah, our Furious Dragons, um, you know, Fury is a very good keyword against 1-1s. One Ooh, Fury Scout. Do I pass this or do? I lose out on three points, but keep them from developing. Everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah, I would imagine that Shivana, Piltover, and Zon would do some good work. I don't really know why I wouldn't. Correct. Spooky Shivana is going to be Sithria Spectral Matron. Looks like they have the plus three plus one. The reason why I'm making this why I'd make this block is to get it closer to leveling up Sivir, like a little bit close, you know, three closer than the Egghead Researcher. Okay, they're going to let it happen. Good card. Check out these moves. I'll follow where I can. And that's why we play Prismatic Barrier instead of Repost, right there. You know, like right there, if that's Repost, we don't ha we don't have the mana for Repost. So that was really important. 
I was kind of expecting them to have. Give me grace enough to Come back later. Brave and dumb. So I was, I was expecting them to have the recall, like a recall card, right? How, especially how they started off slower. That's what I was thinking that was going to happen here, was they were going to recall something. Saver was almost leveled up. If I just attack as is, I guess it's not real easy for them to stay alive. I just attack. So, so far, we have beaten two of the Tier 1 decks. Thresh, Nasus, Aurelia, Azir. Yeah, no Nasus and then no Champion at all. For the second deck. Okay, playing against another great aggro deck. This one can also be super fast. Too fast for you, Preservarium. We'll keep Shivana. Okay, <laughs> Preservarium's like, no, not too fast for me. Get me back in here. They always got turn one decimate. So we traded our two one drops, but we still took a mystic shot to the face. Ask me about dragons, I just may have an answer. Eclipse. to the two spell mana for the single combat. It's like I could single combat right here and then kill that thing, but it's just a 1-1 one, one right now. It's like I'm saving one life if I do that. That doesn't seem as necessary where if I like wait till after Shivana, it's going to be doing more work. And then, and so also I think I play, yeah, I think we're playing Shivana to fight with over Sivir because of Fury. Dragon. So that one could have been repost. Same kind of thing either way. There are none like me. Yeah, their hand. Yeah, their hand is not as good as the best hands for this deck. That's for sure. Okay, so attacking gives me the Strafing Strike, which is three mana, which means I have four other mana. And so four other mana would not be enough for Screeching Dragon, but would be enough for Sivir. So I gotta do 20 more damage. It'd be like eight, 16. It's a living. Your path ends here. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not not quite level up this ever yet. Getting 
Getting fervored. Alright, so I could have played around that, I suppose. At least you still get the healing for two. Let's just draw a card, right? Yeah, let's just draw a card. No, wait, they... What'd they slay? Oh, they slayed their own thing. With the fervor. Well, this is bad. This is potentially bad. I have my I was pretty confident win this a little while ago. I should have played around that fervor better than what I did. Can't pass. I, I'd really like for them to have two things. Watch yourself, hmm. So, am I going to be doing 18? Because it's like 10, 16. Yeah, I guess it's possible. I can't stop a decimate from killing me, can I? If I do this, that is. Yeah, I guess I can't. Because even if I... Like, the only way to, to stop a decimate from killing me is to not... Is to attack in such a way that I don't kill the Grenadier. But if I do that, then I'm going to be taking damage from the Darius. Because then I can't kill the, Dar the Darius. So, I guess just a decimate kills me. Really hope that last guard's not decimate. Kill me by exact lethal. Well, because I let that fervor hit me. When I, I could have, I, I had tools to play around that fervor better than what I did. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, now we're talking. There we go. Boomerang Blade makes it... Takes away all their outs, because it takes away Fervor. No 3 no. Alright, another great, great deck with Draven Ezreal. Spell Shield is pretty good in this matchup. And our hand looks pretty good in this matchup. Hey Delphinus, yeah, we're gonna have Maokai next week for our champion spotlight. Maokai next week. Gonna find a gift for an actin! Right, Arda? We'll get our legs in! I haven't seen the new skins in action yet. Don't blink or you miss me. I haven't purchased them yet. I haven't quite seen them in action, but um, I know I thought they looked really cool. I would love to siphoning strike that, but then of course there's get excited. Which is kind of just about get excited. That stops the um, siphoning strike. I can wait till like later whenever we have the spell shield to like make the siphoning strike more likely to happen. 
So I can simply just single combat, and I guess that's going to be my play. It's just single combat. Okay. We've got a barrier going on. Heavy, heavy thermogenic beam. See that that probably is gonna work out for them better of like having my screeching dragon damaged. <laughs> that that one one. Always knowing like that. Time for the main event. Yeah, that one one always annoying like that. Raised Skill Hunter, pretty cool. Alright, challenge those and have Merciless Hunter sit back or trade. I guess trade. Wrap him up tight. Yeah. Because I think with this Draven Ezreal deck, you'd just rather trade with, you know, like, you'd rather trade and get their units off the board than, like, have, like, their spells kill your units, you know, for free. You know, them, or them keep those things out there. I was about to say, as long as it's not Captain Farron, we're good. <laughs> but it kind of was Captain Farron. Um, so we know they're tapped out. So this will st strike the strongest, then the weakest. So I guess it's just better to do the Screeching Dragon. Take that thing out and then put that down to 3 health. And level up Sivir. Yeah, Boomerang Blade is awesome. So they still have a whole lot more cards than I do. So I'm not playing the Fleet Feather Tracker so that I can have Siphoning Strike available right here. That's worth a siphoning strike. It's a Maybe not. See, they play like Ezreal post combat or anything like that. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Kind of want to kill that with single combat. I'm something of an aspiring psychologist. Who needs a map? Idiot foreigners in over their heads. Why do you ask? Alright, not the best of dragons. In fact, just the weakest dragon. Seriously? Just stop. This is just better to kill Ballistic Five. Here we go. Fury. 
think we have this. Three cards over there. Pretty sure we have this. Oh, I don't know. That's scary. Yep, still got it. All right. Victory for Jarvin. Four and zero. All right, back to Thresh and Nasus. This was our closest game so far, for sure. This was the one that probably shouldn't have won like any Nasus at any point, and we super dead. Um, I guess I just can't keep Preservarium because we've got to affect the board early. Really want Bright Steel Protector. That's my best draw to be able to play that on round two after a tracker on round one. But it looks like they didn't have a unit on round on the next round anyway. The desert by my side. Good draw. Gonna find a gift for an right, Arda? Um, who am I doing that to? I guess am I just gonna challenge their two one. I guess with my merciless hunter. We love it when they run. Aziz, command. Dead meat. Then we're gonna try to have Sivir challenge their hunter. Um, Cortex says if you get to like 150 LP, would you stop playing rank? Because yeah, we have to. We do have to worry about that because we're gonna have the. Uh, we have today and tomorrow are the last two days to qualify, or like to you know to finish the ranked season. So I don't know. It'd kind of be up to y'all if y'all think that I should um, finish. If we, you know, if we get up to a good amount of rank and, and so that we'll be in the top 700, we can. Or if you want me, if y'all want me to keep playing ranked, then we can do that also. I don't have like a real plan right now. Prismatic Barrier again looking good though. Because we're going to be able to... I guess we'll just play this though. I was going to say, like, we'll be able to play Prismatic Barrier as well as, um, you know, like a single combat or a sharp sight. Nah, I can't do that. I am more than I seem. Okay, Cordex says we should stop if we get up to a comfortable amount of LP. I am more than I see. You are unlike anything I've ever seen. Well, that would have been nice to have the previous turn with the Sivir. The spirits will not tolerate your trespass. They can take it up with my blade. Ooh. Tell him, Sivir. Man, I really hope they don't have right negation. Cause I can kill this Nasus right now, but I guess all they I guess not only just right negation, all they really need. Yeah, this just isn't good. This just isn't good. Look lively, soldier. This is your end. This is a lot worse when they actually have Nasus than when they don't. Okay. That could... That could be great, as long as they don't have, get you know, uh, Glimpse Beyond, just hopefully let that happen. Yes! 
Wow, that was great. Let's go. Let's go. Just attack immediately. Or play this Imperion first. I guess I'm just attacking immediately. Well, let's see. Okay, so wait, so they're at... Ugh. Okay, so the spell shield's gone. Because I can give, like, the 1-3 challenger and challenge the 1-1 one -one with the 1-3, but then that still puts them down to 2. Ugh. I don't have a great play this round, I don't think. I mean, I guess... I guess... I have, if I Because if I play that, then I don't get to Siphoning Strike, and I guess I just have to play that and not Siphoning Strike. They can take it up with my blade. Yeah, still puts them down to one. Right, yeah, we're only putting them down to one. Yeah, Nasus was definitely the problem with not open attacking. But, again, I wasn't killing them with an open attack either. Like, we're putting them at, like, the exact same... Like, it's basically the same board. Open attack or no open attack. Um, but, you know, now that Nasus is a 10-9 instead of a 9-9... Nine -nine. And Barrier always doing its thing. I feel like it's going to get Ride of Negation, and so, like, is it worth, like, passing because of Ride of Negation, or, or just trying it out? It's going to be a lot more difficult... There's Ride of Negation. Be more difficult after combat, just simply because the Nasus is going to grow a lot, like, you know, if, like, things die. It's going to be more difficult after combat. Always forward. I will find someone. Oh, yeah, like, prevents him from leveling up. So we of course have to attack with the Dragon Shivana as well to create the strafing strike so that atro so, you know, so if they want to atrocity the Nasus, then we have the strafing strike for it. That was close. That was close. So Sivir is just really, really good. That's what I've kind of been learning like the last week or so. Like just the quick attack, the spell shield, especially the spell shield. Sivir is really good. And so this one was also again another good Sivir deck. This one with um, Shivana, of course, because it is Shivana Spotlight Night. And so we got to do some cool dragon stuff with Shivana, Screeching Dragon, Egghead, Pres uh, Egghead Researcher, sorry, um, creating those dragons for us. Then we get all these different like combat spells. Prismatic Barrier honestly was great for us a lot. Like there's multiple times where we only had the three mana for Prismatic Barrier. I was thinking about playing Quicksand in this spot, but decided to go the Barrier instead, and I was very happy about having the Barrier. So that worked out really well. Both Siphoning Strike and, and Boomerang Blade were amazing, especially Boomerang Blade. Um, but yeah, I think these two cards are awesome with your um, Spell Shield units, like Ruin Runner and Sivir in particular. But um, So we had good removal spells there. It could have been Concerted Strike, where Concerted Strike with the fast speed, maybe that would have been better for me, um, you know, trying to take down an Asus or something like that with a fast speed one that has two things strike. But went with the Siphoning Strike because it's really cool, and I want bigger Shivana and Sivir. Even Vanguard Sergeant with the Four Demacia. We won a game with the Four Demacia. Um, so yeah, we had some different card choices in here that I think 
really helped us out. And then we had, you know, the powerhouses like Merciless Hunter. Flea Feather Tracker did a lot for us, you know, like whether it was getting Quick Attack from Sivir, from a leveled up Sivir, or like the Barrier from Bright Seal Protector. But it, it really helped kind of keep the board clear for our champions, so... There we go. So that's going to be Sivir Shivana. Great way to kick off Shivana Spotlight Night. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck also. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.